Question number seven taken from June 2014, HSC Advanced Level Maths. The complex number 3 minus 5i over 1 plus 4i is denoted by u. Showing your working, express u in the form x plus iy, where x and y are real. For the second part, b first part, on a sketch of an organ diagram, shade the region whose points represent complex numbers satisfying the inequalities mod z minus 2 minus i less or equal to 1 and mod z i minus i is less or equal to mod z minus 2. Calculate the maximum value of argument z for points lying in the shaded region. Okay, so let's do this. Question number 7. A, we have u is equal to 3 minus 5i over 1 plus 4i. This needs to be expressed in the form of x plus i y, where x and y are real. Okay, so now 3 minus 5i divided by 1 plus 4i multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So this is 1 minus 4i divided by 1 minus 4i. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times minus 4i is minus 12i. Minus 5 times 1, minus 5i times 1 is minus 5i. Minus 5 times minus 4 is plus 20. And then i times i is i square. Divided by 1 times 1 is 1. 4i times 1 is 4i. 4i minus 4i times 1 is minus 4i, so 4i minus 4i cancels out. 4i times minus 4i is plus, sorry, is minus, minus 16i square. Okay, so we have 3, right, minus 12i minus 5i is minus 17i, and plus 20 times i square. i square is uh, minus 1, so divided by... 1 minus 16 times i square, so i square is minus 1 again, and um, so 3, 20 times minus 1 is minus 20, minus 17i, divided by 1 minus 16, minus minus becomes plus, 1 minus, 1 plus 60, alright, 3 minus 20 is minus 17, minus 17i, divided by 1 plus 16 is 17 so minus 17 divided by 17 is minus 1 minus 17 i divided by, by 17 is minus i and here we are for the first part okay now for the second part we need to um, sketch on an organ diagram all right and shade the region whose points uh, represent complex numbers satisfying the mod of z minus 2 minus i less or equal to 1 now and also um, the mod of z minus i less or equal to the mod of z minus 2 now for this one we can say z minus 2 plus i less or equal to 1. Now this looks like a circle. This is the center. Center. And this is the radius of a circle. Then for the second part, okay, that's, um, that looks like, um, so what can we do here? We can say z minus um, my, minus i all right so that z minus i and uh, less or equal to z minus 2 in brackets it looks like these are two points okay so on the imaginary axis we're gonna have i I mean positive i and then on the real axis, we're going to have two. 
and here's the coordinates to zero. Maybe we can say zero i. However, what would be the locus of, of, of the points here? It's going to be the bisector of these two points. Now, having clearly um, drawn this on a diagram here, here we've got our circle for the first part, and this is the center, two, one. As we, I mean, two i. Here we are, the center was two i. And the radius is one. So the radius here is from here to here is one, 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 everywhere. And for the two points, we have zero i and two zero. Here we are, zero i and then two zero. You draw the line and then you bisect it. So <clears throat> where are we going to shade the region? Now we know that for the first part, this is less or equal to one. And for the second part, this is less. All right, so less or equal to one means within the circle. So we're going to get, we're going to shade the whole circle. But for this one, which is um, less, so we're going to double shade here. Because we've shaded the circle completely, all right, so we've shaded here as well. However, this was single shading, but this is double shading. So here we are for the second part. Now, for the third part, we are requested to calculate the maximum, maximum argument, maximum value of argument Z for points lying in the shaded region. Now, for points lying in the shaded region, okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to look at um, the diagram. We're going to need the tangents of the circle. This is one tangent that touches the circle. And uh, the second tangent, so that's, we can drop a line here. Okay, we can draw it like this. All right, and this is one tangent. And the second tangent is going to be here. So this is the second tangent. Right, we're going to need, we can drop another line here, make this one 90 degrees, and we can calculate one of these angles, this angle, and multiply by two. So we get maximum argument Z points lying within the shaded region. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So the first um, is a right angle triangle, the first uh, diagram, and uh, what we're going to do is, uh, if you wish to draw it like this, so this is going to be uh, two, and this is one, and we have, let us Theta here. All right. So tan of theta is equal to half. Therefore, theta is equal to inverse of tan 0 0.5. And for theta is going to be inverse of tan 0 0.5. So that's going to be inverse tan 0 0.5. 0 0.4636. So 0 0.4636. 36, 0.4636. You multiply this by 2 <coughs> because you have to make these two, like we just explained earlier on, you need to, um, you have, we have two diagrams to get the maximum argument z here, 1, 2, so two angles. So multiply this by, then we're going to say theta multiplied by 2. That's going to be 0 0.4636 times 2. So that's going to give you 0 0.9. Sorry, 0 0.927, and it goes on. Therefore, the maximum argument of Z is going to be 0.927. Here we are. 